What's up, friends? It's Gun Gaming back again. We're gonna have a fun time today. But before we get to that, if you saw my last video, or even if you didn't, I just want to give a big shout out to the guy who gave me the Argo Cargo. Thank you so much. That's $35 of in-game value and LTI insurance for any other ship that provides virtually any value, which is anything other than that ship. Let's get into it today. All right, all right, all right. Okay, something I didn't do very well was actually get good B-roll of my Buccaneer. So we are going to take out a Buccaneer for a few reasons. Number one, I'm about to cash in my Corsair and I'm gonna turn that and the Argo Cargo into a Freelancer and a Vulture uh, or Prospector. I haven't actually made up my mind yet. I don't feel like I need the Buccaneer if I'm gonna get an arrow, but I'm gonna take out the arrow and give it a try. But one thing that a lot of people love about the arrow is the top mounted turret guns, right? So it's actually like two size ones that are attached to, I think that's a technically like a size three turret. Um, but something you can do with the Drake Buccaneer that a lot of people don't know is get a spinal mount and attach a turret to the top. And well, I mean, the spinal mount is a turret, but it's gonna give you that same functionality, except that it's size twos, baby. So you get a little bit more firepower out of this bad boy than you would out of an arrow, and you convert it into a very similar ship. What we've done with this buccaneer is turn it into a little bit of a gimbal machine. Kind of sounds like pinball machine. And we've got two badgers, uh, four badgers, sorry, and two bulldogs. So we've got four size twos and two size ones. Giving you a little tour around the ship. We're going to go into beauty mode for the rest of this video because I need B-roll, baby. This is kind of the review of the gimbaled version of the Drake Buccaneer. Do I think this is what everyone should do with their Drake Buccaneer? Absolutely. I really do. I've really, really enjoyed the performance of the ship. The size threes were nice for time to kill on certain ships. But I think the Buccaneer is better for medium bounties and below. Um, they've really changed HRTs now where you can end up getting a Reclaimer. And that just ends up being a pain. It's a big pain. So I feel like heavy fighters are more of the meta for HRTs and above. Which candidly seems to be how it should. And I like to use my tally for those ones. So we're going to jump in. All right, powering on the ship. MRTs and LRTs aren't that different right now for whatever reason. So uh, you'll note that we get 25 on each Badgers and 30 on each Bulldogs. One thing that I do like to do here, you can set, if you're going to do anything, it's at the Bulldogs as your first firing group. Um, and then the Badgers as your, your, like, your second, like the harder squeeze on your joysticks. If you're on mouse and keyboard, you could also key them differently. Um, it's a little easier for you if you're doing like a double, a double, like an NXT Evo joysticks like I have, then you have to click in twice. And I find that that's just not that helpful. So I just switch all of these to group zero. Makes me feel like I'm like flying my drone again. Do any of you have drones you fly in real life? That is something I've always wondered, is like how many star citizens like to live out their fantasies in real life? I have one, but I haven't flown it for a while. It's just like, it has to be good weather to do it. Like, the, it just, it feels right to fly Drake Buccaneer outside of Grim Hex, you know? It's just, it's the right thing to do. I can't steer right now, so this is kind of... Let's go ahead and stop holding Z. For all of those who just watched the Argo Cargo video, this is how a ship that can maneuver can maneuver around asteroids. Now we should slot this bad boy into decoupled mode. And I can try cord pretty hard around this thing. I do have to watch my speed a little bit. I shouldn't really like jam it that hard, but. You can do really fun things with decoupling. You'll note that I did full power to engines. And I still have 30, 30, 30. So we do full power and then it's 35 and 30 to cross the badgers. Okay. 
Okay, you'll note we got some good hits there, and that was pretty easy to hit, but we're going to shift into gimbaled mode. And then it just becomes easy as pie, man. We're going to go to full weapon. And you'll see, this, this is great for filming, by the way, because I just have to, like, kind of be close to it. Ooh, who needs wings? And you can see it, like, lock on. get you a little bit of a view. So basically all you have to do with gimbals is keep your crosshairs inside of the bigger circle. The more you can kind of guide your crosshairs inside the little circle, the easier that is for you. You don't have to do that, but great thing with gimbals is you just, you hit your shots, man. I gotta line this up a little bit better. There we go. Give you a good sense of size though. It is about half the size of the Buccaneer, but that's why you can fit a bunch more guns on top of the Buccaneer. You can also jump outside your ship and steal their steal the armor off the pilot, by the way. So like, see how he's just, he's just chilling here. He's dead now. So you can always just go steal that stuff. I will say that after adding this many gimbaled weapons, you can sometimes run into problems where they just, Used a fire, so pros and cons there. Uh, we weren't on full weapon power, so let's do that. Ah, just one of them refuses to fire. So let's see if we can pull that one up. The other thing you can often do when weapons just don't fire is just like get out of your ship and get back into your ship. Sometimes that fixes it too. In fact, I might do that right now just to. I would like this video to actually be Nesperia Talon. That's a little weird. Right, let's just hop out and we'll hop back in. Oh shoot, he's coming to get me. Why won't it let me into the ship? All right, we reset our weapons, though. All right, before he shoots off my engine, let's get some shields back up. <laughs> All right, well, it's not a Drake Buccaneer uh, B-roll if it doesn't have some smokiness to it. All right, you can see right there, um, for some reason, it was not gimbling correctly. And my weapons are not, half of my weapons are refusing to fire. So I think we might have just been hit weird there. By missiles both times, so. I don't know why the VLRT is giving us a Gladius. That feels a little... Well, I kind of want to see if he has, like, guns in his storage compartment. I just love how obviously janky the Drake Buccaneer cockpit is compared to a Gladius. Like, the Gladius is just, like, souped up military, and this ship is like, eh, we could, but that spinal mount, pretty cool. Yeah, it just looks like we got got hit pretty rough here. Let's 
This one for sure wasn't firing. Not sure why. There's some carbon scoring under here, so maybe it did get hit, but. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick run in the in the, the gimbaled version of the Drake Buccaneer. Let me know what all of you think in the comments down below. Oh man, I was afraid I can use joysticks, but they're backwards. Like I got to do like inverted mouse. No, forget that. Anyway, um, I love it. I think it's great. One of my more favorite ships to fly right now, but it is very flimsy, as you've seen as well, especially with all those mounted components. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Until next time, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on flying.